Hey guys, um, apparently this is really reaching somebody, so I'm really happy that uh, one of my viewers reached out to me. It's pretty important that you have somebody to, you know, look up to and talk to. Um, as before, I always want to state that I'm not a licensed therapist, counselor, anything of the, the like. Um, I have a PhD in life. Um, oh. I, I look terrible today, so that's what not showering <laughs> over a week will do. I feel so nasty. Um, so right now, um, we have a 17-year-old who is taking more pills than necessary, but not enough to actually do self-harm. Sweetheart, you are doing harm. You just don't realize it. Um, I was a pill addict for years. I was just popping pills just because I was popping them like candy. It was self-medicating. That's all I was doing. They didn't really even help. Um, but I was praying that they would deaden whatever I had inside. It didn't work. All it did was make me sick later on. Um, there was a point where my skin was constantly breaking out. And we went to a naturopath. I, I didn't want to go. And my doctor, this naturopathic, said, what are you doing? You know, why is your skin always broken out? I said, I don't want to talk. Nope, no sir. He sent my mother out of the room. And I finally fessed up that I was taking literally a bottle of laxative pills every other day. So, like, I'd split them up between the both days. Multiply that by a year. Okay, that's a lot of pills. Plus, I was popping Benadryl left and right, uh, which really damaged me later on. Um, so basically he was telling me my liver became very toxic and he's surprised I had a liver left. So he prescribed some vitamins and stuff like that. And actually it did work um, for a while. And then I became a pill addict again and went through the same cycle. Some of the pill popping was, yeah, I was going through a horrible time of life. And again, I just wanted to self-medicate. Later on, I started to get really sick. And um, the Venadryl actually caused me a seizure. I remember um, my mom and I were fighting yet again. So I went to the hotel up the street and just kept on popping Benadryl. Kept on popping, kept on popping. And all of a sudden, I felt really cold. And I lay down and I couldn't stop convulsing. And I thought, my God, this is how I'm gonna die. And no one's gonna find me. And I remember looking at the clock, looking at the time, and apparently I was down for about 20 minutes. Uh, Cause I looked at the clock, it was 20 minutes later. Uh, that kind of made me stop right there. Um, it's hard because, you know, we all self-harm in so many different ways. Pills, cutting, um... Seven, nine, Adam. Yeah. Sorry, I have to answer this. Hang on. Okay, um... Sorry, guys. So I have to go back to that text now. Um... It's not, it's not bad to have spent time in places for mental health. It's okay. I think we all go through so much in life that we don't tell our parents about. We don't tell even our friends, but we can tell somebody when they're not around, if that makes sense. I do it all the time. Um, I used to think it was really bad that it was a stigma to go get help in a facility. I realized it wasn't. Everything I've done prepared me for what I am doing right now, which is talking to you guys and letting you know that everything's going to be okay. That you do have people out there that really do care. Um, let me just address a few more things. Um, rights to self-harm as an adult. You have, you know, God gave us free will. But 
he also put people on our path to stop us when we are messing up. Um, honey, you must be in a tremendous amount of emotional pain to do what you're doing. My, my heart just really goes out to you. Um, I still struggle with wanting to cut. Um, I'm seeing a good therapist, but let's face it, we don't even trust therapists all the way. I, I know I don't. Never have, never will. But I have a wonderful stepmom um, who made me promise that if I ever wanted to cut, that I would, you know, call her and she would stop what she was doing to be able to talk to me. My stepmom is a wonderful person. Love her just like a mom. Um, I've had to call her a couple of times because I've just been so close. And I did try to do it once. Not the same. It really actually hurt. I didn't feel anything before when I used to cut. It was more of an endorphin. That was my drug. One of my drugs was cutting. Now I have like all these nasty scars. Um, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Oh God. I'm really sad for this person. But I also know kind of what they're going through. Um, I don't know why you're going through this, sweetie. I, I wish I did. Um, to me, it seems like, you know, you're being bullied at school and any other place. I mean, okay, for me, I was actually just bullied yesterday on social media and I told the person to take a hike. Um, I'm strong enough. Now I can say that. Uh, about a year ago, I probably would have popped pills. Uh, the reason I stopped popping pills, it actually um, has to do with my mother, my biological mother. She kind of went off the deep end. And um, she was in the hospital for back surgery and just done lost her mind. Started popping lots of pills. She and her boyfriend abused drugs. It, it, it's bad. But when I got home from seeing all that, and that was a horrible thing to see, um, God just kind of took all that away from me. I, I tried to pop pills. I was, I was very upset. And all they did was make me sick. And I also um, tried to drink. Definitely wasn't the same anymore. Matter of fact, I can't stand alcohol now. Um, you don't have to go through this alone, sweetie. You really don't. Um, let me, I keep on referring back to this, um, message because I want to be sure to address everything that I can. Um, joining a therapy group would be an awesome idea for you. Um, I suggest that if, um, this is somewhere where you can't go till you're 18, which I guess I assume would be next year for you. Um, try to find a, a teen support group. You know, there, there's plenty of support groups out there. Just Google. Um, maybe you can even find an online support where you don't even have to leave the house. Personally, um, I don't see my therapist physically except once a year because I actually do video sessions, which is really cool because times like this when I can't move, uh, it's, it's very helpful. So, you know, maybe try to find something like that. Um, you do need to definitely be honest in your feelings with somebody. Like I said, I don't care who it is. Um, because if you stuff all this inside, you're going to want to self-medicate. And even, again, if you think you're not doing harm, you're doing a lot of harm. That might not show up for years. Um, God, I... I started to self-medicate, I mean, a long, long time ago. Obviously, because I'm 41 now. I, I feel it, trust me. Uh, but, I mean, like I said, I've, I've got people to talk to now. And I don't... I don't desire the pills anymore. Because all they do is make me sick. And that was because of God. Uh, let me see. A group home might be actually a good idea if you explain what's going on to a therapist and say why you really do want to work in a, in a group home. It might be your safest option. Um, 
I was in a group home. Of course, I got kicked out for fighting. <laughs> but there's always adults around. Um, can do much without them, you know, watching every move you made. So it might be a really, really good option. Uh, you just, if anything, worse comes to worse, just ask your mom for some help. Say, Mom, I really need help with this. And I feel that it would be best to go in a group home. And if she don't help you, find a counselor. Find somebody who is going to listen. You know, if you feel like you really can't talk to mom and dad right now, believe me, I'm, I'm 40 someone years old and I still can't talk to my real mom. It, it never changes. <laughs> so don't feel bad that you have to um, talk to other people. Let's see. Uh, don't want to wait too long, sweetie. I mean, you're, you're going to start withdrawing and wanting to cut yourself majorly. Um, not a good idea. Withdrawing is like one of the worst things you can possibly do. Because you're going to start thinking about stuff that you shouldn't be thinking about. Trust me, life is worth it. You're going through one of the worst times in your life right now. I get it. Um, but you know what? When you look back in a year from now, you're, you're going to say, what was I thinking? I, I'm so glad I, I didn't do anything, you know, to, to, to end it all. I wake up sometimes and I'm just like, oh, yeah, and I feel like cutting because life just sucks. But I also have to realize that there's so many people out there whose life totally does suck. Um, I'm sorry for that barking in the backyard. We've got four idiot dogs, um, which cause a great deal of strain. <laughs> but um, they're kind of actually somewhat of a relief in a sense. Um, that's another thing I wanted to address. If you're really, really having a hard, stressful time, what about trying to go work at like a humane society type place? You can be around awesome animals all day and just, have a, have a good time, just focus on something else. Um, because obviously when you're alone or something's going wrong, you're totally gonna think about Basset, oh my God. Can you guys hear that? I know I sure held to help him. They gave me a lot of strain, but I, I really do love these guys. Um, I lost my, my mint and poo uh, last week and that was very stressful. Um, I loved her for 12 years. She was a great cat. So yeah, it's been a little stressful too. But I try to think of all the blessings that I have. And honey, there are probably plenty of things if you made a list of what you're grateful for and what's good about your life. Just you're going through this little patch. Going through a little hump in the road. That's like, ugh, I don't care anymore. You do care. So if you didn't, you wouldn't want to reach out. And I'm touched that you reached out to me today and wanted to hear another person's viewpoint. Um, God, I, I'm really hoping that this helps you because I, I would hate to see, especially a teenager going through so much and let's face it, when you're a teenager, you're going through a lot anyway. You're going through so many changes and hormonal changes and everything else. You're just like so confused right now. I, believe me, I know about it. Um, I am fully willing to admit now that I take Lamictal. It's a medication to help me not be as impulsive because I'm a pretty impulsive person sometimes. And it helps with the emotional outburst. See, I'm not perfect. I take meds. Nobody's perfect. God made us all unique. And I'm sure as you're sitting there listening to this, you have a talent that let's say nobody else has. Um, I myself learned to crochet a little bit. It's still kind of ugly, but I'm making a blanket. Isn't that cute? Uh, my church grandma taught me, taught me how to do it. And God bless her heart. Uh, I learned that I always, I don't have to be perfect 
to have people care about me. That was one of my biggest things. I was like, well, if I'm not perfect, nobody's going to love me. If I'm not perfect, this person won't care. So untrue. Um, since I've been down, um, and believe me, I flipped out yesterday because I, I went to my first post op and I was completely shocked. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you guys what I just went through yesterday. Let me show you guys. So, I kind of uh, went off the deep end for a minute there. I don't know if you... Yep, that's my foot. I have one toe left. I look like I'm wearing a mitten. Um, I just probably made you guys realize that your life probably doesn't suck. Um, I used to think my life sucked. Even you know, to the point where I wanted to drink again, but nope. Because there's so many people out there who don't get the choice to have these operations. They either go without and suffer in pain the rest of their lives, or they're double amputee and they didn't get a choice. Um, I kind of semi had a choice. I was just really bad genes and had some bad doctors. And, you know, of course it pissed me off for a long time, but I'm okay. Um, getting back to the pills for a second. Obviously my body has kind of, um, rebelled, for lack of better terms, of all the stuff I've had lately because I've had to have it, not because I wanted it. Um, and I'm actually pretty, pretty sick today. Um, lots of nausea. Stuff like that. Well, I guess my doctors would be happy because it keeps me from eating and losing, you know, lose a few pounds, which I don't care. I like myself the way I am. But this doctor, she were a pain in the ass. Um, matter of fact, I'm so loved um, that the people from my church have really rallied around me. We've got food coming out of our ears. They're coming by with food and prayers and just being here for me. That... I can't tell you what an amazing feeling that is. Find somewhere to go. I know you think that nobody cares about you, but there are plenty who do. I didn't think I could feel so much love for my church because we've had a couple of issues in the past, but they've stepped up and let me know how much I'm loved and that I can talk to people. People I never thought I could talk to. You don't know a person, sh a, a person's issues until you start talking to. So don't give up. Please don't give up. If you need somebody, if you want to even talk to me, you know, just, just talk to somebody. Um, and of course, at the end or beginning, I really have to always give a shout out to Tyre Banks and Queen Latifah because they are my inspiration for some of these videos. They walk with confidence. I think they're both beautiful, strong women. Um, matter of fact, if I was dying, I'd probably choose to meet them before I passed. But we're not going like that because I'm here. Um, thank you guys for listening. And who knows, at least I actually might reach Tyre Banks and Queen Latifah someday. If I was ever lucky enough, God forbid. Um, I hope you all try to have a good day. Thank you so much for watching this. Um... Anything goes. You can always write me a question and a comment, and I will always try to answer the best that I know how. So, y'all have a wonderful day, and we'll talk later. Bye-bye.